Guess what, Liv Leaner? You were born to have a lean and muscular body that is hot to look at. Do you want the shortcut to get this body, enjoy optimal health, and improve your athletic performance? Of course you do. The way to your best body and life is through sprint training. What's good, Live Leaner? You are watching Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Guthrow, the number one expert on living lean, 365 days a year. Okay, so on today's episode, I wanna share one of my top shortcuts to living lean and getting you, yeah you, the body and health that you deserve. I'm talking about sprinting. And if you're just an average exerciser and you think I'm too old or I'm too out of shape to sprint, you, sir, are wrong. It's all relative. It's specific to you and your current fitness level. If your sprint is only as fast as my jog to your body, your muscles, and your hormones, it's still a sprint and will have the same metabolic and hormonal effect on your body as it will on mine, even if I'm twice as fast as you. So get the idea that you can't do sprints because you're not fast enough out of your mind. However, side note here, if you're currently obese and brand new to fitness, I would first start you on a progression program building you up to sprinting. And this would typically consist of three weeks of lower intensity aerobic cardio and progressively building you up to sprint intervals. But if you've been watching Live Lean TV for a while now, you should already be past this progression. So here's an analogy. For optimal performance and improving overall body composition, think of slow and steady aerobic cardio as your training wheels. After a few weeks, you need to be continuously be progressing to get you to your goal. So that's when we need to take off those training wheels. And once you take off those training wheels, that's when we begin our sprint interval progressions. Get ready. So in other words, you need to be sprinting. So what is sprinting? Sprinting is simply completing short but intense sprint intervals followed by longer rest periods. And research has shown that following a progressive sprint interval program creates a dramatic anabolic response in your body to burn fat and build muscle. Yes, you can do both. The hormonal effects are incredible as well. Sprinting leads to a greater increase in growth hormone and growth hormone is the anti-aging and the fat burning hormone. Win and another win. In other words, sprint to look younger and be leaner. Sprinting has also been shown to increase the production of testosterone and the IGF-1 hormone, which helps create an anabolic effect in the body, leading to more lean muscle. So let's recap, Live Leaner. Following a progressive sprinting program will help you look younger, burn more fat, and of course, build more lean muscle. Sign me up. Sprinting truly is a shortcut to living lean. On Wednesday's episode, I'm gonna get more specific about sprint training, including when to do it, how many times to do it, and a few more other topics. I'll also be comparing sprinting versus traditional forms of aerobic cardio that you see everyone doing. This will include how excessive aerobic cardio could actually be taking you further away from your fitness and health goals. So to make sure you don't miss that episode, make sure you click that subscribe button right down there below. And to show your support for this channel, make sure you also click that like button. I'm waiting, do it. And let's get the conversation going in the comment box below. I wanna know, do you currently sprint? And if not, why not? What is stopping you? Put your answers down there below. So with that said, I'll see you on Wednesday, Live Leaner. See you at the next episode. 14 days ago, I shot a video to answer your questions about what I thought about intermittent fasting. Well, like I